when there is something wrong with the SIP terminals and SIP trunks connected to the PBX. We're supposed to capture SIP packets to analyze the issue and figure it out. In this video, we're going to show you how to capture SIP packets on the sound phone and the Yaystar S-Series PBX. Anyway, let's take this simple scenario as an example. The user 1000 is making a call with 1001. We're going to capture SIP packets transmitted on the Lancus UC soft phone and the PBX. Let's start with the Lancus UC soft phone. We need to make use of Wireshark, a tool used to capture and analyze packets. So download the software and install it on the computer in advance. Open it. And first, choose the network interface used to communicate with the PBX. It's easy to detect that this interface is active to transmit data. Double click it. We can view all the packets now. But what we need is SIP packets between the soft phone and PBX. So enter our condition here. Following this format and enter the IP address of the PBX plus the SIP protocol. As we can see, only SIP packets are listed. The user 1000 is making a call with 1001. We're going to capture SIP packets transmitted on the Lancus UC soft phone and the PBX. Once we've got the packets we need, click the stop button and save the file. Choose the file. Export specify packets. Keep the packet range settings and save the file as the default format. That's all on the soft phone. Let's turn to the PBX. A built-in tool is available on the PBX. We can use it directly. Log into the system. Choose maintenance. And troubleshooting. Find the Ethernet capture tool here. Also, choose the network interface used to transmit data to the soft phone. In this case, we choose the LAN port. Then click Start to capture all packets. The user 1000 is making a call with 1001. We're going to capture SIP packets transmitted on the Lancus UC soft phone and the PBX. Once finished, click on Stop and download the file to the local PC. Open that compressed file. This is the packet file. Open it with Wireshark. We can see all the packets. So enter the IP address of the soft phone plus the SIP protocol to filter necessary packets. Only SIP packets are displayed now. Alright guys, that was all about how to capture SIP packets on the soft phone and PBX. The skill can be applied whenever we come across problems with SIP terminals and SIP trunks. We can analyze the packets and solve the problem. If you don't know how to analyze the packets, please send me the ticket to contact our tech support team. Alright guys, guess that was all we have for this one. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Get more details about troubleshooting, check our knowledge base. Get more information about system configuration, please visit our document center. And I will see you guys in the next one.